Hi everyone. Today in this tutorial we are going to learn the method of implementing a reactive model driven form in INI. Here we have INI3 instance running with a side menu template and the version of the INI case 3.16.0 Let's consider and implement creating a registration form for our INIC application. The fields we are going to have it in our registration forms are username as a text field, first name, email as well as the country field which is going to be a dynamic select box. In order to create a model driven form we need our HTML in such a way that it should represent our form and then we will link it by using our component. We have created a page called form which consists of TypeScript file, SAS file and the HTML. This is under source pages forms directory. I have created a form structure using any components as select tag, any item tag, label as well as the input. This is nothing but a pure HTML form. To create a model driven form, we need the following items to be imported such as reactive forms module, form group, form control as a part of angular forms. I am going to import these things in our TypeScript file. Import reactive forms module followed by form group and finally form control from angular forms then we need to add my form which is nothing but an instance of form group This is to represent the form itself. I am going to create a string array. Let's name it as countries of type string, which consists of the following values. This is to generate the dynamic select box. And then inside our constructor, I am going to add form group and the form control to our fields. Form groups can nest inside other form groups. First, can use my form and we'll create a form group. First we start with user details. This is nothing but a form group used for field set. As I told you form group can nest inside other form groups. Here this will contain username 
which is a form control and then the first name also in the user details form group I'm going to add email as well as the country field you can see the form group structure the country array and the form group the things we have imported are reactive forms module form group and form control to create our model driven form we need to add reactive form modules in the import section of our app.module.typescript file i am going to import this inside import section that is getting built you can see the form which has four fields as you see here the values india australia as well as america is getting populated through the html form we have the options termed as a loop using ng4 using the value array countries and now we need to link it with our component i am going to use our html to link the same with our form components in our html we must add form group with our form tag with the open and close braces and we must use the form group name as my form for the field set we have the form group as user details i'm mentioning the form group name as user details for field set and then for each of our input fields we must mention the form control name for username we call it as username and for first name as first name then for email field and then the country we have linked all the components with the html form i'm going to save this file here we have the model driven form ready in order to view the form data i am going to use the pre tag and then printing the form values my form dot values will print the form values as an array in order to print it as a json string using the pipe filter for it and the keyword is json i am going to save this html it's getting built h 
here is our form by default all the values to the fields are null I am going to add the username as code experts you can see the values getting changed and printed in the JSON the email ID on the country hope this is useful for you please subscribe this channel